been a long day here in uh, Muskogee, Oklahoma. We are in the championship day of the 2020 Patriot Cup, and there are there's one day that you want to ride with me in the back of this rig, and that is today. It is the championship round, and the guy who is the winner of the first ever Patriot Cup, he brought along the prop, I guess you'd call How about this. That? Yeah, he is the champion, Mark Rose. Man, listen, as a professional athlete whatsoever. It's got to feel great to have one of those days where you just seem to have it over everybody else. I don't know exactly what went on, we'll get into that, but you were in a quick lead and you never relinquished it. It seemed like it just kind of a, was a cruise day for you. Yeah, that's why you want to make it to the championship yeah. rounds. Every time, you know, as an athlete, mm -hmm. when you make it to the championship, yeah. anything can happen. And you get on a roll, you get in a zone, whether you're shooting free throws, hitting a baseball, whatever. And today, I got in a zone, man. I, I was looking for a specific deal. I landed right on them, started yeah, yeah. catching them. And the opportunity uh, that you have on championship gives you the chance to do what I did today and everything just lined up right. It's like when uh, preparation meets opportunity and then anything can happen and <laughs> yeah sure did we got her done let's talk about your day 25 fish for 41 pounds one ounce you won by almost 16 pounds I mean you won by a large majority and you and you had that lead pretty quickly you went out yeah. and you got fish almost immediately in period one and it didn't seem like you just ever slowed down you never looked back I mean, you had it and you just kept it yeah the key to winning one of these things is landing on it Okay. Yeah, I always say you got to guess right, right yeah. out of the gate yeah. with Major yeah. League Fishing. We don't have practice. Right? I've never been to Fort Gibson before in my life yeah. until this week. Yeah. And you just have to use every bit of outdoor instincts and what you've learned in fishing over the years mm -hmm. to make a good conscious guess and landing on them, guessing right, whatever you want to call it. Um, we did that and we started catching them right from the get-go. and. I wanted to do everything that I could do to increase my chances because I knew on up in the day, period, or, or uh, yeah, period two, mm -hmm. uh, period three, they were coming. They were going to be That's coming. Right. So right. I wanted to take, when we could make some hay, I was making it, son, this morning. What, uh, what about that area that you chose made you go and stay there? What did, what did you see that made you think, you know, this is where I need to go? Yeah. I, I, I was kind of, I, I knew based on what I had found in the previous two rounds, I knew what it looked like on a GPS. Okay. And I was looking for stuff to where it wasn't flat. You couldn't, I mean, where those places where I couldn't even see the bank, that was not what I was looking for. I wanted okay. to see contours going, getting real close and mm -hmm. thin, narrow channels. Okay. And mm -hmm. that's what I... There was one narrow channel down by the dam where the bank was right there, yeah. the bushes were right there, there was nowhere else the fish could be. Yeah. You know, yeah. and yeah. that was, uh, those green bushes was what I, the thing that I really got dialed in on this week and some hard cover mm -hmm. when there wasn't any green bushes around. But today it seemed like those shad were wadded up around the green bushes. Let's run through really quickly your uh, your baits for today. Similar yeah. baits as you've had the last several days? Yeah, just like I talked about the other day, I, I feel like the little Strike King Menace in black and blue, mm -hmm. 3 8 ounce weight. One yep. thing that I yep. was doing this week yep. was I was scraping the paint off of my tungsten weight and making it silver. I do that in the hot summertime <laughs> and in the fall when there's shad around. just gives a little flash, a really? uh, little ex something extra. I like matte colored stuff and natural colored stuff in the spring yeah, yeah. crawfish uh, lizard that type of stuff but in the fall whenever shad are around I really like to use a silver weight so mm -hmm. other than that a must add KVD grip pin wide gap hook um, 20 pound cigar Tatsu fluorocarbon lose hyper mag reel 75 to 1 gear ratio lose team lose custom pro rod in a ledge series jig worm you used all those tools to the very best of your ability. Had a pretty sizable win today. I know that you're gonna you're gonna load up and head back to uh, West Memphis, Arkansas. You're gonna show the family this beautiful new trophy. You've got some great trophies, Mark. No doubt about yeah. this. But this is this is a great one, man. This is a this is a hot one. You know, one of my highlights and yeah. uh, uh, of my career because I just have so much respect for the people that fish Major League Fishing. Yeah. Bottom line is that this is the one and only Patriot Cup. 
And you are the one and only Patriot Cup champion. We worked hard. We honored God. We left the results up to him. And today, it was our turn to win. And I thank him for it. Let's go celebrate.